This is Dale with Backyard Bees. I'm out here at a Masonic Lodge in Ocala. Uh, as you can see, they got honeybees in the wall right there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trap those bees out of there. I think once we get the bees out, they shouldn't have too much of a problem uh, with any comb or anything left behind. But uh, I'm gonna meet uh, someone here in just a few minutes. We're gonna go over it and uh, I'll come back out here tomorrow, set up a trap out, and uh, we'll trap these honeybees out of there. Today is Wednesday, July 31st. It's about 3.35 p.m. I'm back out here at the Masonic Lodge. As you can see, the bees have come out because they're hot in there and they're trying to cool down. So I'm gonna vacuum these bees out with that vacuum cleaner right there then put them in a box, in that new box right there, and then go ahead and set the trap up. Alright, yeah, we're uh, going to put some swarms on this frame. What we'll do is drop them in the freezer and get them back in the corner, and dump them in this box. These will go in, they, can, they don't think they can figure out how to get back to us. Okay, got the funnel mounted to the wall where the bees come out and the bees will come out of the funnel and into the box and uh, they won't figure out how to get their way back in. So you can see the foragers are already building up on the outside of the wall trying to get back in. But eventually what they'll do is they'll learn to come into this box. And I put a swarm commander in there which is a bee attractant to help attract them inside the box. And uh, eventually they'll figure it out. But anyways, um, that's it for now. I'm going to dump the bees out of the vacuum cleaner in here. Yeah, that was interesting. Uh, a few of them jumped on us. Not too bad. I think Bob got stung for the first time. He's been out here uh, helping me, but he's never gotten stung before, so now he's making up for lost time. Look at all the bees flying around. They'll settle down in a minute and uh, we'll button everything up and get out of here. We're back. Um, 
these got a bit angry because it started raining. Uh, they don't like being uh, bothered when it's raining and it just happened to start raining about the time we were setting the trap up and dumping the bees out of the vacuum cleaner back into the box. And they jumped on us. I got stung about five or six times. Bob got stung eight or ten times. But that's Bob's initiation there. He's been saying how he's not gotten stung yet. So coming out on these bee rescues, but he's uh, they made up for lost time. <laughs> they just uh, jumped on him and initiated him properly. So anyways, um, there's the trap set up. Got the uh, funnel on the wall. And coming into the box, got four frames inside the box. Dump some of the bees in there, as you can see. Some of them are starting to already figure it out that uh, they need to go into the box or fanning, and uh, they are uh, trying to already cool that box down. So that's a good sign. Uh, these are foragers that have come in, probably some of the ones that we started up, poured in the box and flew out, and they're trying to get back in their hive. But uh, they'll eventually figure it out, and once the queen comes out of the wall into the box, into the white nucleus box there, that's an easy nu nucleus box, and there's a queen excluder on the front. That queen excluder allows the workers to go in and out. Spacers in the in the queen excluder are large enough to let the workers out, but small enough to keep the queen in. She can't get in between those spaces in, in that grate there. So anyways, uh, that's pretty much the trap out. I'm just I'm going to wrap the funnel with a dark uh, trash bag, zip uh, duct tape it in place. That way. When the bees come out of the wall, they'll still be in the dark and they won't come into the light until they get in the box. Anyways, uh, I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Okay, I think we're just about done with the trap out. I uh, wrapped the funnel with a black uh, trash bag and uh, duct taped it on there. That way when the bees come out of the wall, it'll be dark still and they go all the way to the end and into the box. So give it a few days several days maybe even before the queen will come out but when she does uh, all the bees will come out of the wall they'll all go into that box and when that happens uh, we'll have the trap out will be done <clears throat> this is part one of the trap out of the Masonic Lodge in Ocala Florida this is Dale and Bob with Backyard Bees <laughs>